God sent His Son to save you from sin. God sent His Son to deliver you out of the darkness and to bring you into a glorious light. His Son, who is God in the flesh, His Son, who created all things and knew all things held together, His Son would go to the cross to save His people from their sin. That's the power of God in Christ. I can't change your heart today, and I can't change your mind. Some of you guys have ears, but you may never hear. Some of you guys have eyes, you may never see. You have hearts, but you may never understand. But God can draw you to His Son. You know, God can make you hungry and thirsty for righteousness. God can grant you repentance tonight. And that's what I pray would do for you tonight. I'm not here to condemn you. I'm here to pray that God might save your soul. I'm not, here, I'm not here to condemn you. I'm praying that God might grant you repentance. That tonight you might be appointed to be granted repentance. You might be appointed to be granted eternal life tonight. To be reconciled to God through the blood of His cross. And repent tonight before it's too late. Call upon the name of the Lord while it's day. It's not you. You mock and scoff, God, sir. You're a walking blasphemy of the living God. It's not too late for you. God can save your soul. But you got to humble yourself, friend. You gotta humble yourself, you gotta own your sin. You gotta stop justifying your sin. You gotta stop making excuses for your sin. Your sin is not well, well let me ask you, would you call yourself a good person? Okay, fair enough. Now, have you ever called have you ever called anyone else a liar? You ever called someone a liar, a thief? Yeah, because it's wrong to lie. Right? Long ride, right? Have you ever lied? Have you ever lied, sir? Have you ever lied, sir? Have you ever lied or stolen, sir? You call other people liars and thieves, but when you lie and thief, you call yourself a good person. You call other people liars and thieves when they lie and steal, you call yourself a good person, you've done the same thing. If you didn't know what's wrong with lying or steal, you might not have to get to it. You said you call other people liars and thieves. You do what you're doing, you're not guilty, 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 what you need is something you can't give yourself, I can't give you. I'm a Christian today because my sins are forgiven. But because I'm a Christian, I live a high cost my forgiveness. So Jesus Christ purchased my forgiveness with the bloody shed at Calvary. Jesus Christ purchased my forgiveness with the bloody shed at Calvary. So I, I may not be perfect, but I don't want to sin because I know the high cost of my sin. I hate my sins because I know the high cost of my sin. It was the blood of Jesus that made so for my sin. I say, yeah, you might call yourself a good person, right? Look around. Look around, right? Jesus said, don't dream by his truth. You might call yourself a good person, neighbor. I heard you look around. Jesus said, don't dream by his truth. He said, a good dream can't bear bad fruit. What do you see out here tonight? What do you see out here tonight, guys? Every tree that doesn't bear good fruit will be cut down and cast into a fire. Every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and cast into a fire. Look around tonight. What do you see the fruit of your neighbor? The water, sir. I'm going to go and get it. I'm going to go and get it all the time. Open up tonight, sir. Read the book of Job. You're going to hear about a feast for the tail that's not even shy. I encourage you to pick up the green Bible today, sir. That's not to show you the truth about itself. Will it be done before it happens? Yeah, I encourage you guys tonight to spend some time out here. Don't worry about it. Don't read your Bible tonight. I encourage you to get on your knees before the Lord.